Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see in the title down below, we I will be doing a mini haul and first impression of the products that I did purchase. I went to Elf, the Elf store, um, Namies, and I got one product at Sephora. So yeah. Um, so this is what uh what I will look like after. Um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below and tell me what else you guys want to see. So let's get on to the video. On bare face, this is this is me with bare face, you guys. Literally, this is this is this is me. So what I got first is the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation in caramel. I, it was a hassle taking out the freaking box anyways so this is it this is the elf hd mattifying cream foundation it's oil free in the shade caramel so my friend was telling me that this foundation is similar to these the the max studio fix i mean no sabo so i wanted to try it out i did try it out in at the store it was really nice it's really really um hydrating that's for sure out I also got the Ultimate Blending Brush by ELF. It's this Wahil. I did find out that ELF is a um, vegan and cruelty-free company, which is why I went to go buy and spent money there. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, I have to go get it. And since I told you guys, I will be purchasing um, vegan and cruelty-free makeup. So yeah. Oh, also, I also got some stuff at Namie's and I also got one thing at Sephora which was a dun -dun -dun, dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, the H uh, HD the Kat Von D um, hydrating primer the locket hydrating primer yeah so in the first video my Valentine's video it was a sample that I got from Sephora I did love it so I ended up getting it so that's what I'm gonna do right now I did moisturizer and everything with my face you guys want to know how what moisturizer I use or I'll put a video right here oh my okay so now that I waited for my primer to set in Three to four minutes I wait for my primer to set in before applying foundation or whatever. And I also got this corrective concealer by e.l.f. It's a neutralizing concealer. This is it right here. When you go into the e.l.f. store, it doesn't look like it would be a drugstore um, product. It was so nice, like really, it was really nice. Oh, and it comes with a little brush. So, see, here are the, might as well take out the brush. Here are the colors, you see it? And then, oh, you can't see it very well from there. And then, it comes with this little, tiny little brush. And you go, as I was saying, when me and my friend went inside the elf store, it did not look like a drugstore. I literally felt like it was a high-end store. I was like, are we really an elf? This is elf? Okay, elf. Stepping up your game. Okay. Okay, so the first things I'm going to use, I'm going to try this green one to apply on certain areas of my face because I will need some. I'm not going to learn. Now I look super pretty. So now from there, I'm going to use the foundation with this brush that I mentioned earlier. Um, I mentioned I got color matched, so I didn't do it myself. I never color matched myself, but um. So, 
It doesn't look that bad. I just wish they had it in a little bit of my color. Um, but it took a while to like blend it out really well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this color right here. It's actually a little bit lighter than the other one. I'm gonna use this color right here and try to like make it as a concealer. Oh, as my concealer. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now another thing I'll be using is the Dose of Colors um, Ideal Duo in the shade Shell. So what it what it is is it's it comes with primer and then the loose pigment right here. So I would open it, but it's loose. Anyways, so I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids. So the next thing I got was this um, beautiful bare sheer tint finishing powder in light medium, um, also from Elf. Duh. Okay, now once we're done with that, I had to do the rest of my face because it's the same products I use. So. If you guys are wondering what eyeliner I use, I will leave it in the description down below. So, yeah, because I got this in my Ipsy bag. Um, but I do recommend this eyeliner. It's really good. It's very, very pigmented and it lasts a really long time as well. It lasts throughout the day. And it's since it is a, a marker, it's really easy to apply. So for those who are beginners and want to learn how to apply the eyeliner on their upper eyelid, I recommend this. Oh, I totally forgot. Okay, so for blush, I will apply this one. Use this color right here. I purchased the Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray for oil control so <sighs> okay guys so I don't know how I feel about um, okay so I don't really know how I feel about the foundation so far um, it is too dark for me I noticed that I don't if they had it in my shade, I would probably liked it, but unfortunately, I don't. And in the blush, oh, I put a little bit too much, but I did like the blush, though. Other than that, everything else I did like, I just repeated myself again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I do apologize for the late um, upload. I will try, I'm just trying to get everything together since I am barely starting here. So yeah. Um, I do hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below and tell me what else you guys want to see or how your day was. Um, so yeah, if you guys, oh, and also if you guys also want to know what I used for my eyebrows or my eyeliner or something or yeah, everything will be in the, in the description down below. So yeah, also check out my previous videos as well. and. Check me out on my social media links as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys, yeah, hope you guys like it. Bye.